Okay, this is a new method of hiding bees that I have yet to try. In the past, I have simply taken this box, and you see here, see the bees in there? I have simply taken that box, opened them up, took the queen out, dumped them in. But then they all come flying out and fly all over and it's kind of scary, it's kind of chaotic. So I heard of a new method online today and this is the method we're going to try to use. First thing we got to do, get the top off of this. So the first thing that we got to do is get our little... So we can do that. First thing we're going to do is get this little lid off here. Queen. Get a hold of her because you know it's not like they make bee gloves for people with small hands, so it's really hard because my bee gloves don't fit me properly. It's very hard to get a hold of that. Hold that up and let's see it. Make sure she's still alive in there. My eyes are bad, I can't see Turn it so we can see it. Yeah, she'll be all right. Okay. Well, how the heck you get that jar of honey out? You know what? Maybe I won't even bother to get the jar of honey out. They look to me like they're coming out of there just fine. I'll leave the lid off. Got a feeder. See the feeder right there? That's got honey in it. I gotta do that. I gotta poke a hole in the piece box here to make sure that she can get out of there. Wait a second. See what you gotta do is you wanna see. Wait a second. 
end there, there's a little... Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ready? I got a little cork in the end here. I got to get that little cork out. Set to go. That was easy. A lot less drama. Okay, let me yeah. let me get up. See what you got here. See, I left that feeder in there, and I'm just going to let them come out on their own. They've got plenty of space now, and they'll eventually work their way out of that box. There's the queen, the box with the queen. Yeah, there's the box with the queen, and there's a feeder with a little hole there to let them out. You don't want to get that out. No, I'm going to leave it in there because it looks like they've got plenty of space. If they want to come out, they'll come out. And I'm going to leave them like this for a day or two and then I'll come back out and take that out, put the frames in. Their natural tendency is to get around the queen. Sure, they're going to want to come to the queen and they will. And um, if they're not all out of the box, then later when I come out here in a day or two, I'll shake the rest of them out. But I imagine they'll be out of the box by then. And then you will fill this box here full of frames. Well, they actually take this box up, put the queen excluder on it, put the other box on so that we can start making some honey. But for now, that was the easy and calm, very zen way to hive bees. Put that in there. Make sure everybody's straight. And it's still good, yep. Not very exciting, but a lot safer. Oh, we forgot something. We got to put a patty uh, on the place we all know for them. This is the pollen of the place here. It looks to me like beans. But you anything, that's what it is. I said, just take a quarter of it. Slap that in there. I'll give them something to eat beside the sugar that I see. And the rest of this goes in the refrigerator. drama there. You want to get a look at a bee? Here's a little guy. Here's a little girl I should say. She's a little worker there. There's another little worker. I think I'll put this back in there so these little girls don't get lost. I'll put them down in the bottom here. Alright, I'll we'll find a little one. Okay. See the feeder? Spray. It should be the lowest maintenance, lowest drama bee hiding I've ever done. 